Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles and I'm here in Canoga Park waiting for the 2011 Memorial Day Parade to begin. Sirens blades as people lined the streets in anticipation of the celebration hosted by Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villarigosa. To thank God for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice to pray for their families and to pray for peace. God bless America. From trick horseback riders to a lineup of classic cars, the parade proved to be a success among residents. I love it. I love seeing you know, all the flags and I love it, all the red, everybody wearing red and white and blue and being really proud of our There were solemn moments where the public paid respect to fallen soldiers and ones of hope where the army and the navy marched regally down the street. Still other Southern California residents had a more somber approach to celebrating this holiday. I think we did the same thing last year. Last year, after we attended that service, we went out to Riverside National Center. And so this year, my husband should mention this one. I think we do it just because uh, it's the right thing to do. We appreciate all the soldiers mm -hmm. uh, for everything they've done for us. Because mm -hmm. uh, I like the soldiers and, and the dead. And I feel sad because then I look at the have families, no kids. Personally, what I find interesting coming here is we look at the names and you imagine a, a story goes behind each little grave. Who, who was this person? What did they do? How did they die? And uh, it's, 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 a, it's as if there are I think there's 60,000 graves here, 60,000 stories. Yeah. Here at the largest cemetery in the nation, people are in awe and reverence as they gaze out at the many headstones of our fallen soldiers from both the past as well as the present. This is Julie Marie about Los Angeles.